These are little children. And when I say little children, you will notice that these children are actually toddlers. They're wearing diapers still. Um, and they, the, these children are unintended, no parents around. And this is, this is their reaction. They curse and they assault agents of the police force uh, who are trying to talk to them. So I don't know if it's because I'm one year older today when I say, what is this world coming to? What is this country coming to when this is a scene from a city here in the United States? I mean, this is actually... Putting, putting politics aside just for a second, I suppose, although it's almost impossible to divorce this video from politics, this is the saddest thing that I've seen in a long time. I watched this and my heart actually hurt. I felt pain in my chest watching these poor little children, these neglected children, these uncivilized children, these brainwashed children. And the, I, like I said, maybe this is impossible to divorce from politics because my thought when I saw this was, my goodness, someone needs to love these children. These children need to be hugged and taught right from wrong and shown through example how to, how to be the men and women that God created them to be. And the reason that they're not able to fulfill their, their potential, the reason that they're attacking these police officers as if these children are savages is because of the left. It's because of the narrative from the Democratic Party. It's because the left lies over constantly. We're inundated with lies from the left about how police officers are white supremacists. They are agents of a, of a racist government of an illegitimate United States. And by the way, you will notice that in this video, not that this, not that this should make a difference one way or the other, and it doesn't in the vast, vast majority of, of, of cases, but you'll notice that these Cops weren't even white people. These were minority cops. So the left said, oh, we need, we need more police officers who are representative racially of the communities that they're going to be policing. And, um, and, and, and so we said, okay. And, and, you know, minority police officers were deployed to minority neighborhoods. White police officers were deployed to white neighborhoods. And still, this is the reaction from these children. This is not in an inherent human behavior, meaning that this is not something that if these children aren't taught better, that this is an, uh, an instinctual way to react to police officers. No, no, no. This is the result of their environment. This is a result in, uh, of what they have been taught, of what they have heard. This is a result of what adults around them are telling them and how adults around them are behaving. This is, this is, this starts with the Black Lives Matter movement demonizing police officers. And it ends with the fact that these children have no parental super, supervision. There are no adults around them. The vast majority of children who live in inner cities are from single parent families, meaning they have no father. Their, mo their mother and father are not married. They come from broken, broken families. And, and, and these things, this narrative that comes from the radical left, this lie telling black children that, that police officers are going to kill them. They're arbitrarily going to murder young black men for the crime of being pulled over, for the crime of having a license tag that was out of date, that just because of the color of your skin, a police officer will murder you and that police officer will never be held accountable. This is the fear that these children are steeped in. This is the fear that these children's parents are steeped in. This is a lie. 